you cooking for us? Oh, Mike, just wait. This is the hug in the bowl. And you guys, I've been telling you about this tomato soup that I absolutely love. It's, a, it's like a hearty tomato soup with a cheesy lasagna topping. It's the one I made last week on the Hallmark Channel, and I've been promising it for you. And I think today's the perfect day based on what the weather's going to be like tonight and tomorrow. So get out a big stock pot because everything just boils in this one pot, and I really hope you love it. So we're going to make it together. I've got a little bit of olive oil in a pot right now, and then I'm going to add some chopped sweet onion. Now, you can make this the size to Fit your family. I'm going to do a, um, I'm paring the recipe down a little bit right now. So I'm just going to use one onion and a pretty small one at that. You could use a large one if you want to make a good serving size. I'm happy to say that the soup freeze is great. So you could have it in the freezer all winter long, just portion it up. Okay, so every good recipe starts with an onion. So that's what we've done right there. Then instead of using chicken or beef, I'm using chicken sausage. And I love the kind that's like, spinach, um, feta, I think this one is a little bit of a different flavor, whatever you like and you find at the store. Just chop that up, throw it in, saute it with the onion. Let's get that kind of mixed around there. Ultimately, you're going to saute this for about 15 minutes until the onion really, really um, works itself down and caramelizes a little bit. But I won't keep you here for 15 minutes. Uh, so we're going to speed up the process. So you're going to add some mushrooms. Mushrooms, I call the great multiplier because you can increase the portion of whatever you're making for pennies. You guys have heard me talk about how much vitamin D, that sunshine vitamin they have that helps keep us in a good mood, it helps fight cancer, lots of things that vitamin D does for us. So once this cooks down, just imagine that for me, we're gonna add garlic and we're gonna add a lot of it. So ultimately you want like three cloves, lots of garlic in this stuff. And if everybody eats it, then it doesn't matter that we have garlic breath, right? <laughs> they all cancel each other out. So get all that garlic in there. And then for the ingredient that I call the espresso of the tomato world, it's tomato paste. So this is like a concentrated tomato flavor. So we're gonna stir that in. And now we're just dumping a bunch of different cans inside the soup. So let's keep stirring as everything's sauteing together. At this point, the smell in your house will just be intoxicating. In fact, our news director walked through here, Mike, and he came and goes, I heard out in the hall, he goes, Anessa's here. And I said, guilty. <laughs> I said, you know what, Brady, I call this stuff a hug in a bowl. And he said, I think it's a hug in the air. Like, it just <laughs> is that warm and welcoming. So you see me throwing in some uh, red gold canned tomatoes right now. I love to use the kind that are like roasted garlic and onion or basil or oregano. Speaking of, I forgot the oregano at home, but I would put dried oregano, about a half tablespoon in here. Okay, so just continue to stir, stir, stir. Mike, I'm going to get your bowl ready. And then chicken broth. Chicken broth, veggie broth, whatever oh, it is. Okay. Let me turn this, this oven's, there we go. Okay, it's buzzing a little too much for us. All right, so we would simmer that for about 30 minutes, okay? Now, I'm going to take yours, put it in a bowl. But watch this, we're gonna, don't eat it just yet, Mike, cause we're gonna make a cheesy lasagna topping. Oh. And to do that, I'm gonna take ricotta. So this is like lasagna without the noodles, mm -hmm. okay, everybody? So I'm gonna take a huge hunk of ricotta, that wonderful, yummy cheese that's in lasagna that we love. I'm gonna take some parsley and some, we're gonna throw basil in there. Smell that, there you go. It's, oh, it's so good. Mm. And then more garlic. There's garlic in every part of this. Garlic, you guys, is great for boosting the immune system. Yeah, it's good for you, right? It's so good for you. In fact, so my grandfather was a butcher and a chef, and he used to tell um, my mother garlic was good for your immune system, but he wanted his girls to eat it because then no one would kiss them. So that was how <laughs> he kept their immune systems boosted. Very clever. So stir that together, and then Parmesan cheese, lots of it in there. And what you're gonna do, when you serve the soup, you're going to put it in bowls for your company or your family, and then you're going to put a huge hunk of this cheesy, dreamy lasagna topping in it, okay? So I'm going to do that for you Pretty right easy, now. Pretty easy, quick and easy. It is, yeah. It, you know, it's not too bad, and I just love, love the idea of something simmering on the right. stove all evening, and you can just sit there and let it simmer, or transfer it to a crock pot if you want, and just kind of keep it there. So yeah, you stir, stir it together, up. exactly. And it makes it kind of like a, even a creamy like a, like chili. tomato Throwing soup. Throwing in some like 
Sour a cream. topping into yeah, it, the same kind of thing. That's right. Only this is ricotta, so it's even better. And I've been craving tomatoes lately, and tomato soup. It's mm. probably pretty hot. Is it good? Great. So flavorful. I love the sausage in there. Yeah, something different, something a little bit different. So that's what I wanted to bring. This recipe is going to be on our website. That way you can have it all this weekend long. Amber, we're going to send it over to you. <laughs> I hope when people are watching that they've already perhaps had something to eat because everything makes you so mm -hmm. hungry. Yes, that's which right. Which is a good problem to have. That looks delicious, Anessa. Thank you. Thank you.